you up here. Thank you very much. Excellency Governors, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Is it afternoon yet? I'm honored today to be among you as we reflect on the state of devolution at Ikeda Down. I'm delighted to be in presence of the critical drivers of devolution and to be appraised of the progress made in the implementation of devolution. This is a critical time since it reflects what devolution has achieved, literally the hits and the misses. May I add that I'm privileged to head the State Department that spearhead the transformative, transformative change that devolution has delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, let me start by reiterating two critical issues. First is the call of intergovernmental relations in the design of Kenya's devolved system of government as enshrined in Article 6 of the Constitution. The second issue is the overall goal of devolution as encapsulated in the object of devolution under Article 174 of the Constitution. I'm here on my own behalf and, behalf and on behalf of the Deputy President to affirm the State Department for devolution supports the county government towards accelerating service delivery. Excellency Governors, without a doubt, Kenyans have witnessed significant strides since 2013. I am honored to be with you here today as we go through the report on the state of devolution. I am equally keen to understand the challenges experienced so far and notably what is being proposed as a shared solution to addressing these bottlenecks. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to acknowledge the county governments uh, that have played a role in delivering vital services such as health care, early childhood education, water and sanitation, agricultural extension services, among others. Let me also highlight that counties are progressively becoming centers of local economic development, particularly the municipalities and towns being the engines of growth and employment hubs. Equally significant, county governments are providing communities with the opportunities to participate in local governance and development process through public participation processes. Excellency Governors, today is a day for us to listen to this status report. However, allow me to highlight some prospects and reforms areas that I think are necessary to consolidate gains and deepen devolution for citizen delivery, and also achieving the objective of devolution. And these include promoting public participation and self-governance, ensuring the basic services are accessible to all Kenyans, and ensuring equitable sharing of resources, and also enhancing checks and balances. From my end, I wish to commit to increasing efforts and engaging the relevant stakeholders to realize increasing resource allocation to county government. Ladies and gentlemen, the other important issue is the rollout of the comprehensive performance assessment to evaluate how devolution is faring on in achieving the object of devolution under Article 174 of the Constitution. There are definitely is a, there is a need for a conversation around pending bills, the ballooning wage bill, and other challenges that may constrain resources for service delivery. Nevertheless, I would like to congratulate you and encourage you all to remain steady fast and focused on the ultimate goal of delivering the devolution promise to Kenyans, which is service delivery. Again, I sincerely appreciate each of you for your demonstrated commitment for devolution, to devolution and Kenya as a whole. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Thank you so much.
Thank you very much, Madam P.S., for your address. Um, it's now my distinguished honor, and that I wasn't going to get anyone to take. <laughs> I wasn't going to let anyone take that. That's why I said I'll come back for it. So it's now my distinguished honor to welcome the chair of the Council of Governors and the Governor of Kirinyaga, Her Excellency Anwai Guru, to deliver the 10th Annual State of the Revolution Address. Madam Chair, Karibu.